We've got, this is the final revision on the Boost Smart. This is a fully loaded one. We have an eight button keypad that's gonna be used over CAN bus that's gonna go back to the Holly. So we can see we got some data up, hit the button. CAN switches are coming on. And we got a uh, dial we've got here. You can see the dial value is increasing. We've got switch here. Again, this is over CAN bus. And then we have everything being displayed here on Real Dash. I've gone through and made some changes to the dashboard to customize some things. So down here, we've got a little green light here. That's our IO switch one on the module being broadcast, the terminator being displayed here. Oh, we'll go to the flex sensor. I've just got this sitting loose inside next to me with some fuel in it. So I'm sloshing around, but you can see bottom left side here. We have ethanol content, fuel temperature. It's pretty warm in here, so I'd say that temperature is probably pretty accurate. We've got another analog channel. We've got the dial -a boost Notice we've got in the bottom center right here, we've got some output channels showing up. I have those set to work off this dial here. So as we go up and down with it, channels come on and off. And then directly below that, we have Boostmart ADC2. We can see the voltage is climbing. I've just got a 10K pot on this, just so I can change the value on it. Just go ahead and move it up and down a little bit. This would be this would be for something like a pressure transducer, map sensor, or anything like that. And then we've got just the rest of the real dash data. So we've got another screen here. These are all the PIDs that are currently being broadcast by the module from the Holly to Real Dash. Um, pending verification, I've got support added for at least part of the Dominator. I'm not exactly sure how many of these will work on the Dominator. We'll find out. I've got someone that's going to test it for me probably in the next few days. And then we can see how, how much more work that's going to need. But we've got quite a few channels here being displayed. And you can have them up all at once. And of course, these work with the uh, stock dashboards. You just gotta go through and reassign to the correct channel. This side here is an IO harness. These are for your output channels. There's four of them. We have our two input channels that are either zero to five volt, zero to 20 volt, can switched or 12 volt switched. And we've got a five volt reference in here that the module uses when obviously it's doing its five volt thing. And then we've got wiring in here for our flex fuel sensor so all that's built right into the board here we've got the and we've got a, a one watt resistor on this that's diode isolated this will also take and work with the gm four pin alternator so that it can control it directly so there's no need for any kind of special harness or anything like that and no you know soldering a resistor in line and trying to heat shrink it it's it's just built directly into this and it's just another wire that comes off of here so we've got quite a bit going on and, you know, fits in my hand. This thing's pretty small. So that's, that's the Boost Smart. Again, this is fully loaded. This is not how they're going to come standard. The base model is just the I.O. board, things like that. The uh, Real Dash support is an added module on the back. That's going to be an upgrade option. So this should be pretty affordable for most people. And this will offer, I mean, this, this does a lot for what it is.